It's almost Halloween. Do you have your kids class treat ready? Do you need something for the office? Are you a side hustler who just needs to add something easy to their business? Well, don't worry. If you're any of these people, I got you. Hey. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Mika, creator of ThatGirlSaves.com. I'm here to teach you all about saving money, paying off debt, and creating freedom. If you've never been here before, make sure you click that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so you know every time I upload a video. Today I'm going to show you how to make these easy candy bar wrappers using free software from the website Canva. These wrappers can be made for any type of event. You can use them as classroom treats, something to take to the office party, and if you're a side hustler like me, this is a great one to add to your side hustle biz. And if design is not your thing, I've even created principles that you can find at thatgirlsaves.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, guys, here we go. All right, guys, here I am at canva.com, and I already have an account, but if you don't have one, it's really easy. It takes just a few seconds to sign up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to this box, and I'm going to type in, in the search bar, I'm going to type in square. This is going to give me the outline that I need or the perfect template size that I need to create my uh, candy bar wrapper. I'm just going to find one that's square, uh, like this one. And I'm going to take everything off of this page so that I just end up with a blank square. I'm just going to click on this and delete, 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 delete. So now I have a blank page. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a background that I want to use for my candy bar wrapper. Here is my image right over here. I'm going to drag my image to the canvas. Notice it's too small, so I'm just going to use the corners, pull the, drag the corners to make it bigger and make sure that it covers my whole canvas. Okay, next step, I'm going to click on elements. The great thing about Canva is guys, it's really easy to use. I'm going to click on grid, drag it over, and I'm going to make this smaller. Now, my candy bar is going to be basically into thirds. I'm going to have it split up into thirds. So, I'm going to have the middle part that would be like the front of my candy wrapper. And then these two would be the back side. Now, this is not going to be perfect because I, I don't have any measurements for this section right here. So, it, it's not going to be perfect, but it will be good enough. Just make sure it's about one third of uh, one third of the other ones okay so now i'm going to change this color to black so I'll go over here click black and that just changes that to black next thing i'm going to do is pick out some text that i like and let's see i'm going to click add a heading and i think i'm going to Right here, I can change this font, this heading font. And let's see. How about this one? Okay, now this text is going to come up in black at first. So you may have to slide this around so you can see what you've got because it's black. And your, black, your background is black and your text is black. You can't really see it, so... First thing I'm going to do is highlight, well, maybe, great thing, undo button. <laughs> so I'm going to highlight this, and first thing I'm going to do is change it to white so that I can see it. Okay, I want this to say trick or treat. Let's see. I'm going to duplicate this text, which is right here right there duplicate this text and I'm going to change this one to treat okay.
any little candies I can add. So I'm going to go to Element. Now, all of these are not free, but some of them are. I'm just going to type in Halloween and see what I can come up with. Ooh, there's candy corn. Perfect. So I'm going to take these. I want to be able to put my kid's name on the back so they know who they're from, so the friends know who they're from. So I'm going to go to Element. So all I did was there was a little arrow here and I hit the back button. So I'm on Element. I'm going back to the grid. <laughs> another free website which is Google Docs and this is where I'll be able to resize my candy bar wrapper so it's the right size when I cut it out. So here I am guys in Google Docs. I opened a new document and now I'm going to change the margins. So I'm going to move the top margin over to I put it on 0.88. I'm going to move this margin over I think this one's going to be at about 1.6. So this one's at 0.6. Now I'm going to insert my image that I saved from Canva. Now, I want my candy bar wrapper to be about 5.25 by 5.25. So I'm going to need to adjust this. But I uploaded this as an image, so now I can adjust it. So, all I'm going to do is slide it over. Notice that this would be 5.5. So, 5.25 is like in here somewhere. Right in here somewhere. So, I'm just going to do it kind of in between these two. There. Then I'm going to look at my bottom one. And it is almost pretty perfect. So, I'm not going to change that. And that's it. So now that I've got it all sized, if I want to print it right now, if I'm ready to make these right now, then I just hit the print button, go ahead and print. But if I want to save this for later, I go to file and then I can go to download. Once you get to download, save this as a PDF. So now I'm going to show you how I wrap my candy bar wrapper. Okay guys, here are my candy bar wrappers all printed and cut out. You'll notice that these are not the exact ones from the video, but these are a principle that I designed and they are available on thatgirlsays.com and I'll leave a link in the description below. So this is really easy. The only thing you're gonna need is a candy bar. I'm using a Hershey's bar, your paper, and tape. So, all you do is lay it down, and again, like I said in the video, this won't be perfect, but just kind of, you may have to just kind of work it a little bit. It won't be perfect, but it looks really good. Okay, and then we'll just put some tape on it. 
And that's it. You can have your kid write their name on the back. Or you can write your name on the back, whoever it's from. And that's it. That's my second one. This one I did on cardstock. It's a little bit heavier. Um, I think I prefer the regular paper to the cardstock, though. This one is a little bit harder to fold. And that's it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.